What's going on, sports fans? Mr. SOS here. I'm here with my man, D Jinx. Hey, what's up, sports fans? Obviously, we're out here for a football game, but it's the IFL, so you know we got some good teams here for you. Today, we got a team that's undefeated for three years in the Madison Mustangs, playing up against the Wauwatosa Spartans, who's no slouch themselves. Hey, man, we here. I'm waiting to see some real good, clean hitting, man. You know, I've been itching for football, you know, with this lockout going on, so this is what it is right now, man. Hey, man, we always get good games out of the IFL, so we're going to hit the field, get some interviews for you, and we'll have some highlights for you later. But right now, we're going to shoot down to the field, and let's talk to some of the coaches and staff. We're on the field here at Middleton High School. I got Phil Cockroft, the tight end, but he also has a position in the, you know, within the house. <laughs> What's your name, man? What's your name, Mark? Uh, marketing director uh, for the Spartans. We all got to wear more than one hat on the team, so, you know. Hey, got to respect it. So, uh, what's your team looking like this year, man? I'm very impressed with us this season. We're looking really, really good. Um, obviously, it's week one, IFL. Um, this is going to be a nice litmus test for us against, you know, the Mustangs or defending champs. So, I mean, we'll see at the end of the game how we look, and this will be a great measuring point for us. All right. Well, there you have it, sports fans. You heard it from Phil first. We're going to check this out, hopefully get some highlights. Maybe see him catch a touchdown or two. Maybe. All righty. <laughs> What's going on, sports fans? Mr. SOS here with another interview, except this interview is probably the most important of the day. We got Adam Smith, the head coach and Hall of Fame inductee today, and three-time champion as a coach with this team that you see right behind us going to work. How you doing today, Coach? I'm doing good. Good. Now, what does it feel like to be inducted into the Hall of Fame? Uh, it's a real honor. It's very humbling. Um, it lets me know that I have a lot of respect from the from the IFL and, and uh, all the teams and the committee, and it's just uh, it's, a, it's a team award for us. You know, it's it's a it's a culmination of everything that we've done as an organization, as a team, and it's uh, it's very it's a very good honor. Wow, without a doubt, without a doubt, you've earned it. Three year champion. Now, I've heard something about a streak. I don't really want to talk about it too much, but uh, y'all ain't lost in a long time. I don't know if you remember what that feel like. Um, I remember <laughs> how it feels like, and that's one of the reasons. Uh, uh, you know why we do what we do and, and prepare our guys and, and it's a it's a big motivating because uh, the way we lost the last game um, against the Hitmen back in 07 in the national championship or the yeah, national championship game it was uh, it was a real ugly feeling so um, it sticks with us um, it, you know our guys use this motivation and uh, we tend to as far as a coaching staff we really downplay the streak um, we just try to take it week for week um, we're worried about the Wauwatosa Spartans right now that's the only streak we're worried about right now one and know this week exactly exactly. And with this being week one, I hope you wish you guys the best of luck of coming out and getting another victory. Thank you for talking to us. Appreciate you today. coming out. Thank you. Ah, thank you. Take care. All righty. Now, as you can see, I don't feel small much, but wow. So, gentlemen, how does it feel to be a owner but also a player? It's a tricky proposition. you got to be careful when you do that type of thing. But uh, we've done our best to surround ourselves with a good supporting cast so that they can deal with the uh, on-the-field issues while we're playing ball. Ah, very, very good, very good. Now, being that this is uh, one of your probably toughest competitions that you're probably going to see all year, you know, are there anything that you're looking for out of your team? Well, I think obviously it's the first game of the year, so we want to come out and have a good showing. Um, you know, obviously, like you said, we're playing uh, three-time defending champs, so um, we want to start the year off right, build some momentum, and uh, see what happens. Well, there you have it. We got a couple of big guys, and it looks like they're ready for war. I won't hold them up any longer. Thanks, guys, for the interview. Oh, good luck to you today. All right, thanks. All right. What's going on, sports fans? Mr. SOS here, and I have a former coach, but still an owner of the Madison Mustangs. How you doing, guys, sir? Very good, thank you. Now, I've been. I talked to the head coach about the streak. You know, they downplay it, but how does it feel just to, after three years of just not losing? It feels really good, and I just hope we can uh, continue it for a long time. Well, so far, you know, I see your team. They're pretty strong. They're solid. Is there any um, good outlook you got for this season? Uh, I think we're very strong. We we lost some players, but we've uh, recruited well over the off season, and uh, we look very good at this point. Well, good luck. I hope you guys don't take L today. Um, I hope this streak continues. I like streaks. I, I, I love streaks. <laughs> it's the longest one in the nation right now, and we want to keep it up. No doubt, no doubt. Well, good luck today, okay. Coach. Thanks Thank for you. interviewing Appreciate with us. It. Thanks. All righty. 
Hey, what's up, sports fan? Again, you got your man D. Jenks here with SOS, and I got the most animated and confident probably player on the field today, Curtis Bills. What's going on, man? Not much. Ready to get this W today. That's what's up, man. You playing the defending champs? How you feel about that? Uh, defending champs is just what it is. They defending. They ain't haven't won anything this year. It's week one. So we're going to start the season off 1-0. and They start off 1-1. Man, if that confident or what? I told you all he was confident. Well, look, man, I know you got to go, man. So go on. Good luck, man. Appreciate Take it. care and good luck. Thanks. What's going on, sports fans? We're at halftime of the Madison Mustangs versus the Wauwatosa Spartans, and I got Coach Jason Suttle here. How you doing, Coach? Good, thank you. Appreciate that. Ah, man, I, thank you. You know, you're doing me the honor. Uh, just wanted to get your thoughts on the game so far. It's 7-0 halftime. Your team is up. Your team is pitching a shutout so far. Well, uh, defensive-wise, I think we're doing pretty good. Uh, first game of the year, so we're just trying to get our feet wet right now, trying to get a feel for the game. Uh, the guys are doing good, though. Everyone, we're playing pretty aggressive. The guys are, are doing their responsibilities. They're playing their assignments. And uh, fortunately, we've been stopping their run pretty good. So that's the main thing. We really wanted to set a precedent of trying to stop their run early and try to get them in the passing. 7-0, uh, we got a lot of game left. Without a doubt, without a doubt. Well, Coach, I'll let you get back to your Warriors. You guys have a good game. Good luck to you. Thank you. All right. Hey, what's up, sports fans? It's D. Jenks again with Suffo Sports. I'm here with the great... Reggie Davis, and I see you involved in the marquee matchup tonight between you and Robinson. How do you think that's going tonight? It's going pretty good right now. Just looking for, you know, get an opportunity to go up against him. You know, they say he's pretty good, so I was looking towards uh, forward to that opportunity tonight. So. That's what's up, man. So how does it feel to be on this 37-game winning streak, man? feels good. I mean, we've been working hard for the last three years. Like I said, when Coach Smith came in, you know, now Hall of Famer, he brought in a spread offense. You know, it helped out a lot. You know, spread the field out, you know, got the ball in the hands of you know, people out there making plays. So. That's what's up, man. You know, Coach seemed to be real intense out there, man. He received his award, and he was, like, downplayed it and everything. Is that the type of intensity that he brings every day? No, not really. I just think it's, you know, it's halftime of the game and everything like that. He ain't trying to get too hyped right now because, you know, we got the other team over there. You know, we don't want to, we don't celebrate too much right now, so we got a game left to win. Man, that's all right, man. We're going to let you get going, man. Right. I know you got to keep warming up. Yep. Thanks for having us, man. man. No problem, we'll see you later. Yep. What's going on, sports fans? It's halftime of the game, and we're here with Zach Gordon. Okay, the Flash. Now, uh, I gotta ask you right away. Are you really like the Flash? <laughs> yeah, I have. I have my moves. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah. I got some. I, I like to say I got some quickness. Yeah. Okay. Now, is there anything that their defense is doing that are, is confusing you guys, or is kind of throwing you off your game a bit? Not confusing us so much, but they got some. I mean, obviously they're big, big athletic uh, characters, so they they're coming hard up the middle and they're they're getting some pressure on us, so not giving us much time. Is there anything that you guys uh, feel like you should change? Or uh, is it a stick to the game plan or just execute better? I think we're going to start uh, probably running the ball a little bit more and getting the ball out of the hands quick and uh, start hitting them with some quick stuff. I think we're going to be all right. Well, thanks a lot, Flash. Uh, let you get back to your warm-ups. Appreciate right. the thanks interview. Fine. Yep. Hey, what's up, sports fans? D. Jinks here with SOS, and I'm here with Jeff Russell. Hey, man, y'all pitching the shutout. What's going on out there? Uh, man, Coach Gass got a good scheme going on. A uh, lot of different looks and fast, fly to football. So we do. Right, man. You seem to be taking a main receiver, Porsche, out the oh, game. Yeah. What, what are you guys doing special Nothing. to take him out the game? Nothing. We got two really good corners, uh, Rags and Will Smith out there. Let's lock it down. So That's, what's up. Yeah. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. So what can we look forward to in the second half? Uh, hopefully we get a turnover here on defense and put some points up on the board. And um, hopefully we get some offense and get some more points on the board, too. So definitely keeping the shout out, though. Definitely. All right, sports fans. That's it. We'll see you after the game. All Thanks. right. Yeah, no problem. What's going on, sports fans? Mr. SOS here, and I'm here with the winning quarterback, David Petro. Uh, how was the game today, sir? Uh, it was tough. I mean, Tosa brought it. Uh, they got me knocked around quite a bit, and it took some rhythm away, so it was tough to get going. Right. I noticed you guys are, you know, put up 17 points today, and that's a little off of your norm. Uh, was it something that they were doing, or was it, you know, you guys having trouble clicking a little bit? Uh, it was a little bit of both. I mean, they brought it. They put us in some bad situations, but we it was tough to get into rhythm. And we had some mental mistakes and kind of took us out of our game a little bit, but that now, had something to do with it. Are you looking for this to build on, considering that you said it's a little, a few mistakes? Uh, do you feel like you guys got a lot to build on for the season? No, I don't think so. It's more of it's more of getting the getting the reps and mental reps and. And getting rid of those mental mistakes, we'll, we'll be better off. And timing-wise, it's it's tough. We don't get as much practice time as we like, but we'll, we'll come back and work at it. All right, this is David Petro. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Good game today, sir. Thanks. All righty. 
Hey, sports fans, D Jinx with Cephal Sports here with Tulsa quarterback Tony Hitter. Tough game today, man, but you guys hung on there with the defending champs. What you think about that? Well, I mean, it was a big eye opener for us. We're obviously it's only 17 to nothing, so we're pretty optimistic for the rest of the season. Take away a few mistakes, we make a game out of it, and possibly with a W, you know. So we're looking to see him again. Team feels pretty good about what went on here today. Right. I think you hit a couple passes over the middle. Was it something that you were seeing? The little hole in the defense? Um, I know they like to the blitz a lot, so if I see a middle linebacker blitz, I look at my hot read over the middle and I try to fire it right there. That's what that's what's up, man. Yeah. So what do you what do you think you guys' outlook is for this year? Well, game one, we look to go one and zero each week. Uh, build off of this. We saw a lot of good things today, saw a lot of things are correct. Like I said, fix the mistakes. We we're gonna win every game we see the rest of the year. Man, well, Tony, thanks for uh, joining us after the show, man. We appreciate your time. All right, thank you. All right, man. What's going on, sports fans? Mr. SOS here, man. We're with the other side of the uh, victory. Uh, they took a loss today. Gentlemen, you took a loss today, but it wasn't bad, and it was against a team that had a lot of buildup coming in. Are you guys, uh, you know, not obviously not proud of the loss, but do you feel like you guys made a statement? Yeah, I think we uh – more so to ourselves than anybody is that you know it's on us. You know we can we can run with them obviously, and we just got to sure up some things, some miscommunications. But all in all, you know we think that we'll see them again and we'll be ready. So, all right, defensively you guys had a pretty solid game, but offensively you struggled. And this is a uh, wide receiver Raymond Porsche. Uh, what was the problem on offense? It seemed like when you guys got it going, was it more mental or was it something that they were necessarily doing? No, it was you – know, they, they bring a lot of pressure. So our, our game plan was to run the ball, keep their offense off the field. It worked out for the most part, but then it started backfiring. They blitzed so much, I think our line kind of wore down at the end. But overall, they held, they held their own, you know. We, we, we got something to build on. We see where we're at now. You hold this team to 17 points. They average at least 40 a game. I'm, I'm satisfied where we're at right now, and we know what we got to work on. Um, okay, question for both of you guys. Now, uh, from here, where do you go from here? Like, you know, uh, I feel like this is a good a good start. But uh, you guys see this as a team that you'll see in that Iron Bowl. Absolutely. I mean, that's 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 the whole that's the whole, that's why we play. I mean, it's to play the best. You know, you start off with the best and then you end with the best. So that's what that's our goal from you know since last season. So, well, solid game from these two guys. Thank you guys for interviewing with me. Sorry about the loss, but hey, good luck on the rest of the season. Thanks. Thank you. Hey, sports fans, once again, it's D Jinx with SOS. I'm here with quarterback of the Madison Mustangs, Derek Diston. Hey, man, hard fought game today. I know you guys are used to putting up more points, but what was the Mustangs doing that, that kind of slowed you guys up a little? Well, this is the type of game a team like the Spartans, we knew coming in that they were going to be uh, you know, strong. Defensively, they got one of the best lines in the league. Offensively, we knew that they were going to uh, you know, come out and try and pound us. Um, they kind of controlled the tempo of the game in the first half, didn't really let us, our offense, get into a rhythm. Um, you know, it's just uh, we may be used to putting up 40 a game, but against a team like this, you know, putting 17 up is is uh, is, is an accomplishment. Right. To me, it shows that you can play any kind of game. Mm -hmm. uh, I noticed you couldn't quite get Reggie Davis in, in the offense a little more. What was – was they doing something special? They were definitely uh, keying off Reggie. Right. Um, you know, the, the beauty of uh, what we got in offense is that even if Reggie can't get involved, we got plenty of guys we can get the ball to, uh, you know, whether it's Kyle Broad in the backfield or Mike Gilbertson, Hunter, some of the other receivers we got out there. We know that we can get them the ball too, so we don't have to necessarily force it to Reggie, but they definitely were keying off of him today. Right. Well, man, 37 in a row, 38 now, three straight championships. Do you expect this season to end the same way? I'm hoping so. Hey. But we take hey, we take it one game at a time. So all we know is uh, we got we got a one and zero streak right now. Next week we're gonna go for another one and zero streak. All right, man. We appreciate your time. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, man. What's going on, sports fans? We're still here at Middleton, and the game is wrapped up. And tonight, Madison continues their streak, 38-0. They uh, defeated the Wauwatosa Spartans 17-0. Hey, man, it was a tough game, though, man. The, the, the Spartans that came out, man, they were playing fast. They were hitting. But, you know, they just couldn't offensively put points on the board. But they held a team, man, that scores 45 points a game to 17. That's saying something. It's saying a lot, but, uh, you know, you got to look at Madison's toughness and tenacity to know that they can play in games that are not all blowouts. It really showed a lot. They had uh, they held on to the end and, uh, you know, shut them out. You know, 17-0 is not a bad look. Man, well, you know, Madison gets a lot of credit for the offense, man, but it's obviously their defense came to play today, man. Whenever you shut a team out, man, that's 
really putting your, your, your axe to the grind. And, and, and those guys, man, they really put on the show today, man. I, I was impressed with the linebacking that they had because they didn't give up a lot of running. Uh, uh, they took away all just about the receivers. You know, the main guy, Porsche, they pretty much took him out of the game. And, man, it was just a solid defensive effort all the way around. Right, but uh, talking about more about Madison, uh, putting up 17 points, you know, uh, I think uh, it was 10-0 for the longest. Right. You know, you, you kind of you kind of wonder, is that a side of things to come or was Wauwatosa just that tough? With their defense and their corners playing as strong as they did, they stayed away from her all game. And uh, they really kind of keyed on him and it kind of almost exposed the rest of the defense that they could expose anyway, you know, only putting up 10 points and one being a field goal. And, you know, towards the end, you put up one more. Yeah, I mean, like I said, man, the, the, the Mustangs, they came out, man, and they was really rough on those guys, man. I mean, like I said, they was playing fast, running around. Man, this, this team averages 45 points a game, man. Those guys are really out there hustling tonight. Well, wrapping things up, we're, again, we're here in Middleton. It was a great game, but Wauwatosa just didn't have enough to pull off the upset, and Madison continues their streak. Again, the scores: Madison Mustang 17, Wauwatosa Spartan 0. Seth, Seth on Sports signing out. It's D Jinx. I'll let you boy.